guys, happy March and welcome to my February favorites video. I am doing this a day late, but I hope you guys forgive me because I just haven't had the time to film this at an earlier day. So I'm going to jump right in and not waste any time. The majority of these products are beauty products, but there's a couple of random things that I threw in there just for fun and uh, things that I've been loving. So let's hop right into the video and I'll show you guys what I've been loving in the month of February. So I'm going to start off with skincare and the first thing I have here is this Bioderma and I showed this in my January previous video, but I have since bought a new bottle. I finally found the full size bottle of Bioderma at the uh, drugstore and I absolutely love this stuff. I still love it. I use it every single day that I wear makeup to take off my eye makeup and it works wonders so I love it. That bottle is $22 at Shoppers Drug Mart which is where I got mine. And the next thing is still my Mario Badescu uh, drying lotion here. This stuff has um, always been super great to my skin. I use it whenever I have a breakout or a pimple or anything like that. Um, usually I break out mostly like around my period or anything like that. I get a couple breakouts here and there. In January I mentioned that I loved it because I had since gone vegetarian and my skin was kind of acting out. So I used it then and it still works great. I It's my go-to solution if I ever get you know a pimple midday and I want to get rid of it overnight. You just dab some of that on and it's gone the next morning. And the last skincare product that I have here is this Twilight Shower Gel. Now I bought this back in either November or December, but I've been using it a lot more frequently now actually. I used it a couple times during the holiday season, but I've been loving it for some reason even more now. This is a soothing lavender gel, perfect for calming kids and adults on Christmas Eve. This is a limited edition product. I got the small bottle. This was $9.95 at Lush and uh, I love this stuff. It has a little bit of a shimmer in there but you can't really see it on the skin. It smells wonderful. I only use this um, when I shower at night though just because it is a calming and relaxing scent. If I'm showering during the day I'll use something a little bit more fresh and kind of uh, livening than something that's going to make me sleepy. First makeup product that I have here is the Hard Candy So Baked Bronzer in Tiki. I showed this in my drugstore haul. I absolutely love this. I was kind of worried that it would be too dark for my skin tone since I am so fair, but it actually works really well. It just gives a nice glow and I really enjoy this. And the next two products are mascaras. Um, I've used the CoverGirl Lash Blast Volume four years. I think back when I was in high school I started using it and I still use it to this day. It's still my favorite. But what I like to do now, um, I ventured out a little bit and I bought the Maybelline The Rocket Volume Express Mascara. And the thing with these two, they're quite different. They're both supposed to be volumizing. However, I find that the CoverGirl Mascara is a bit of a drier formula, whereas the Maybelline the Rocket is um, a lot wetter, so I like to use these in conjunction. I will use the Lash Blast first, and then I will sweep through my lashes quickly with the Rocket, and I just find that the combination of the two mascaras just give you the most beautiful volume. Um, your lashes are nice and separated, but I find that whenever I use this by itself, it doesn't really volumize as much as I'd want to, so I definitely like to use these together. I'll use this one separately, like just by itself, and I won't use this one afterwards, but them together is dramatic lashes all the way, so definitely been loving these two things. And now on to lips. I've been loving these two shades. I always go to my Revlon Just Fit and Kissable Lip Stain in Lovesick, which I showed you in my January favorites, and I still love that to this day. But in my drugstore haul, I showed the Color Whisper by Maybelline. This is in the color Pink Possibilities, and I love this color. I will do swatches um, on my accompanying blog post. Look down below for the link to that, and definitely check it out, because you get to see kind of swatches, behind the scenes kind of things. And then this is the L'Oreal Color Riche number 172 in Blushing Sequin. I bought this back in October. I was in my sister's wedding. I was maid of honor and I wanted to look for a um, pinky lipstick. Um, the colors were black and pink so I wanted to look for a pinky lipstick and I love this stuff. It's so to me, it's like so balmy. It doesn't feel like a really drying lipstick. Both of these things, actually, they're both very 
kind of nourishing and moisturizing, which is what I love. And they're both kind of pink. This one's a bit more bright. This is a bit sheerer, but they're both pink and beautiful. And I love them. They're going to be great for spring, and I just can't wait for spring. Have I mentioned that before? I cannot wait for spring. And then on to scents. I'm going to show you first my favorite candle. And this is kind of contradicting the whole, like, fresh thing about spring that I love. But I bought this back in, oh god, Christmas, I think. Um, but I used it um, this month in February, obviously, if I'm showing it to you. Um, it's the Moroccan, Mar Moroccan Market Candle by Bath & Body Works. And this smells incredible. I've gotten so many compliments from my brother, um, my parents, everybody. Like, they just, it smells so good. And the best way that I can describe it, because the Canadian um, Bath & Body Works candles don't have the description on the bottom, which kind of sucks, is if you've ever been into an Aveda salon or an Aveda store, it smells exactly like that. It's just really warm and rich. It's described as um, amber and incense, but I just think it smells really just warm, and I love that. The favorite scent that I've been wearing this month, um, and actually all the months mostly, I always go to my Viva La Juicy uh, Juicy Couture perfume. This is the 100 milliliter bottle, and I love this stuff so much. Um, my two favorites are this one and the Daisy by Marc Jacobs. The Daisy is a bit more musky smelling. This one's a bit more fresh and girly. Uh, I love them both, but I've been breaking this one out a little bit more just because I'm trying to inspire myself for the upcoming season. And then the last thing that I want to show you is my favorite show. Um, I am obsessed with American Horror Story and uh, I first got into it when my best friend recommended it to me. She said, this is back in September of 2012, she said, I'm obsessed with this new show. There's this guy, Evan Peters, who like came out of nowhere and he's so good and I was like, oh, I don't know if I'm into that whole kind of sex thing. I don't know. So I, I tried it out, and I watched the first episode of the second season, the American Horror Story Asylum, and I'm like, oh my god, this show is like so freaky, but so good. Um, that I was like, okay, I have to watch season one. So I have season one here. This is uh, on loaned to me from my best friend, the same one who told me about the show. Um, this is the first season of American Horror Story and it's amazing. I, this will be the third time that I've watched this season. I just finished watching season two with my brother a couple of weeks ago and uh, I love this show. I could watch it over and over and over again even though it's so dark and mysterious. It's just it's like so good. I'll even read you the back of American Horror Story season one to kind of give you a glimpse into what you're missing out on. Uh, brace yourself for an addictive thrill ride. American Horror Story is TV's most original new drama, a deeply stylish psychosexual haunt device to keep you on the edge of your seat. The Harmons' fresh start in a new home deviously twists to reveal discoveries of love, sex, and murderous revenge. Featuring a Golden Globe winning performance by Jessica Lange, I love her, season one scares up a host of engrossing extras. I love this show so much. I'm obsessed with Evan Peters. I just want to put him in my pocket. He's so cute. Um, and I just love the character Tate. I love his character in season two, Kit Walker. I'm just obsessed. So if you haven't checked it out and you like kind of dark, mysterious, like horror kind of shows, then definitely watch it. Um, I definitely recommend it to anybody who's into that kind of stuff. So yeah, that's it for my favorites video this month. As always, I will put what I'm wearing, what's on my face, all that stuff in the link, in the link, in the description box below. Definitely check out down there for links to my blog and other things as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, subscribe to my channel to see more videos. Just a reminder that next week I will be uploading my hair tutorial on how to curl your hair with two ways. Um, so definitely check that out and come back to see that. So until my next video, I will talk to you all soon. Bye.